Welcome to St. John's for our weekly update. Uh, today it's a beautiful spring day and the cathedral is bathed in a most gorgeous light. Uh, early mornings in the cathedral are a true gift in terms of the way the creation plays in this place. So once again I'm in the north aisle of the cathedral and with the uh, QSEN, the Queensland Church's Environmental Network display. And today I'm in the section of the display um, that uh, displays poetry, poetry written by members of the diocesan community as they reflect on the role of the creation in their lives. Sunday will be the fourth Sunday in the season of creation. We're still meditating on the idea of the earth as a common home, common for a home for all of the human family as well as all the other creatures with whom we share this beautiful planet. Uh, and I've come across a lovely set of uh, prayer cards uh, that have been uh, made available by the uh, Catholic Church and so we've reproduced some of those and you'll be able to pick them up on Sunday uh, or during the week if you would like to uh, have those prayers to uh, have in one of, in a book or on um, in your prayer space or on your fridge. Uh, tomorrow night the diocesan synod meets. Uh, synod is the parliament of our diocese. It's a time for making important decisions about our common life and the direction of uh, life and ministry. We'll be uh, hosting the Synod here uh, for a Eucharist and a shared meal of soup and bread. If you're able to uh, assist us with uh, offering that hospitality, uh, please uh, do be in touch. And please do pray for our Synod reps as uh, we prepare to be part of that incredibly important process. This month of September is also Pride Month. We had a wonderful Pride Sunday uh, on Sunday just gone. Gillian Moses preached a brilliant sermon at Evensong which you will find on the Cathedral website. We had a fantastic talking circle in the afternoon. Uh, some really wonderful stories and complex stories about what it's like to come out as Christian in the uh, Rainbow community. And our domestic awareness group has done some work for Pride Month as well. And so if you visit the domestic awareness working group page uh, on the website, you'll find some resources for members of the Rainbow community. Another project that the domestic uh, abuse awareness group have been working on is the uh, purchase of a red bench. Uh, red benches uh, stand out, of course. A, a, a bench to sit on that is red draws attention to itself and the red bench initiative is one of the ways in which um, community groups are, are drawing attention to domestic abuse. Uh, each red bench uh, carries a plaque that uh, reminds people that uh, domestic abuse is incredibly prevalent and that uh, you don't have to face it alone. And so um, John and Brenda Simpson have very kindly offered to cover the costs of purchasing a red bench for the cathedral. It will be located uh, close to Ann Street so those who pass by will uh, be reminded of the prevalence of domestic abuse and also uh, it's also a way of us as a community uh, displaying that we actually take domestic abuse seriously. Uh, Peter Brangiporn, who works for the Justice Unit of the Diocese, which resources the Social Responsibilities Committee that I have the uh, privilege to chair, uh, has been doing an incredible amount of work with others on creating the On Earth Festival, which will be held in the middle of October, an opportunity for people to come together and enjoy music, poetry, performance, and to reflect on our uh, connection with the environment. Uh, Peter's looking for people to uh, assist him uh, run that event. If you'd like to uh, know more, um, please be in contact and we'll put you in contact with Peter. Uh, the On Earth Festival will be held at uh, St Francis College. 
If you visit the cathedral website, you'll notice there's a new banner on it that uh, gives you the opportunity to support the work of the cathedral for a day. It's uh, called the Day Date Initiative, and uh, it's one of the ways in which um, people from within the community and beyond can support the work of the cathedral. Uh, so if you'd like to uh, support the work of the cathedral for a significant birthday or in celebration of some life event or in appreciation of uh, some ministry you have received from the cathedral community, then I commend the uh, day date uh, opportunity to you. It's a wonderful way to support the cathedral and um, as you go onto the day date site you'll find that you can actually uh, dedicate your money for uh, particular causes, say the general running expenses of the cathedral, but also to support things like uh, the Choral Music Trust. And so as we come to birthdays, we say happy birthday to Alex McConnell. I hope you have a really great day, Alex. Thanks again for all that you do for the life of the cathedral. Thank you for the way you care for one another. As I've mentioned before, we are continually heartened by the stories that come to us of uh, people looking out for and looking after one another. Peace be with you.